Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. I know I don't sound good and I don't look good. I've been sick for, for days guys. I've been sick for days and I'm still sick. I don't feel very <laughs> motivated or like I used to feel when I don't feel sick. So, but I really, really want to try this product today. I've been having this around for two, three weeks now and I can't wait to not try it anymore. So. Today I felt just a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, just a little bit better and I'm sitting down to try this product. I'm talking about the Makeup of Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I did bought it, like I said, a couple of weeks ago. I also bought the new, the new super size concealers. I have a foundation in number F8 and concealer in number 7 and 6. Now, I did try the stick foundation and I do really like it but I did have it in number seven well before I ordered this foundation I did do a couple of swatches and I did order a couple of other shades from that stick foundation and the shade number eight was looking to be more right for me right now and that is why I ordered number eight today for this foundation I mean and I also did try a couple of shades number three is very light the first version of the concealer. I tried out number three and I do use it just like one or two dots because it is too light for me. And I did use number six and seven. Uh, and the seven was what suited me before summer and six was perfect shade. So I did order number seven because I still want to think that I have a little bit of a tan left on my skin and I ordered number six. And I think everything, the formula is exactly the same. I, the only difference is the size. So this is to compare. I really love this concealer and i out of it. So I did order two. So I am going to use it today. And if you want to see how this is going to work on my combo skin, then please keep on watching. I feel like I'm talking through my nose and my... I'm doing that because my throat is hurting a lot. Uh, I haven't opened this. And I've seen a couple of uh, reviews about this foundation and it's mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people don't like it at all. Some people think it's okay foundation for a couple of hours. I really, really like the, let me show you. I do really like the stick foundation and this foundation for co coverage camouflage foundation. This is number seven. I'm almost out of it. I really like this foundation uh, and uh, I'm think I'm going to like this one too. I do not know, but I love the packaging. It's glass packaging, the biggest applicator ever. I didn't thought it was going to be this huge. Everyone was talking how big this applicator is and I was can't be that big but really it is huge <laughs> i'm going to apply prep and prime lacombe primer i think i'm going to use half of the side with the primer and half side without the primer let me use that i'm going to use this side with the primer and another the other side without the primer just to see if there is going to ow i have a big pimple that hurts so I'm curious to see how it's going to work. Let's try to apply. And I think I'm going to use the sponge on one side, maybe and try the, I'm going to use the brush on this side. Let's try it on this side. I think this shade looks good. A little bit messy applica applicator. I think the shade looks good. Yeah, I think it's the right shade. Let's try it. This is the side without the primer. Ooh, I like it. I do like it, but I think I want to use the sponge because I can see the strokes from the, from the brush. I'm going to do just a little bit more and use the sponge. This is the new Beauty Blender. The sponge, new Beauty Blender. And this is drying down fast. 
think I want to build it up a little bit around my nose. I don't know what I think about the what about the packaging because uh, it's hard to remove this and then it's kind of liquidy and it gets everywhere on my table. I'm going to try to build it up a little bit where I want more coverage. Just a little bit more coverage. I think it looks very good on my skin and uh, it's the shade is perfect. I really like the shade. It feels very light. I do have a lot of foundation on. So it feels light. It feels a little bit heavy on the nose, but uh, maybe that's because I don't have primer and I'm sick. So my skin is very strange when I'm sick. I know if it's only me, but my sh skin gets oily and dry. I don't know, strange. So let's try this side with the primer and see how it's going on there. I don't know what I'm thinking about this applicator though, because I won't use this foundation on anyone else because it's not a pump. I do prefer, ow, 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 ow. I do prefer the pump. Because of the bacteria and everything, but yeah. Let's see. I do like how it's going on on the side with the primer. It looks more smooth. I definitely love the side with the primer. Ow! Feels like I got more coverage on the side where I use the primer. And it's, it's sitting on my skin better. It looks a little bit dry, this foundation. I do like matte foundation, so I'm not complaining. But I think, no, I'm not the big fan of the applicator. So I'm going to use the concealer. And I think I'm going to use number seven today. I really couldn't wait anymore to use the concealers and the fun try foundation. I've been sitting here on my decks for weeks and I've been not feeling well you know it go it goes back and forward back and forward with where my children got sick and then my husband and then then me and then my children again and then me again when you work around children all day and people many people you're definitely going to get something sharing Caring. It feels very light. Let's see. I know I'm liking the concealer. I'm not going to use it a lot. I'm not using a lot of concealer. I'm over 30. And I have fine lines under my eyes. <laughs> Wrinkles. I'm calling them fine lines. I don't want them to get mad and get deeper and bigger. So, I, so I do like how it's applying on the skin and it sits very nice. Let's try the shade number six just to light it up a little bit. And this is the best concealer ever guys. I really like this concealer. So if you haven't tried it, please try it because you are going, I think you're going to love it. I think you're going to love it. So, and I'm going to, first I thought I want to set everything with the Revolution powder that I have, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty because I've been using Huda Beauty now for months with all of my foundation foundations and I've been loving these powders. I use these two shades, Cupcake and Sugar Cookie and I love both of them. Uh, the third shade I gave away to my sister, she's loving this powder too. And I'm going to use that because I know how it's working with all of my foundations. So oh, this is just the best concealer. I'm going to zoom you in before I set everything, just so you can see how the foundation and concealer sits on my skin. I can't feel the foundation on my skin. I really can't find, if, uh, feel it, so it feels like I don't wear any foundation. That's good because when I'm sick, <laughs> probably gets every, it smells so good. So let's, I did set everything. I'm going to finish my face, the makeup. <laughs> Powder is everywhere. I'm going to finish my makeup and I'll be right back. Oh, before I go, I just want to show you that it's 10.45 
and yeah now now i'm going to finish my face so guys i'm back my makeup is done it's now 11 o'clock so i've done my makeup very fast today okay i did set everything with these primers first fix um max fix plus matte and the lancome fix it and forget it i love this this one i really love it and all, of course i'll be loving this one too so i did set it like i always do uh, i do have to say this pimple hurts on my eyes i do have i always forgot forget to put on my in my description box what the rest of my face makeup is but i did use this on my eyes today and uh, this hourglass highlighter and i think it's this bronzer also and the wet and wild blush the shade uh, blush no rose champagne and yeah that is what i have on my skin i don't have anything on my lips why did i forget that i'm going to use the color pop something brown I think this I can't feel the foundation on my skin so let's see I love the coverage I love how it feels it does look like I have makeup but it does not doesn't look on a, in a bad way uh, it's sitting on my skin very nice I don't think you're going to love it if you have dry skin because this foundation looks matte and dry doesn't look bad dry but uh, my oh, my skin is kind of oily i do have oily t-zone so that is why but i have to say i do prefer the side with the primer because the side without the primer my pores are very visible and very visible and it sits kind of strange uh, it, you ca you can see my fine lines and everything on the side with the primer it's more smooth it doesn't show up my my pores that much doesn't show my wrinkles or fine lines but this side on the without the primer it sits okay but i do prefer it with the primer so but we're going to see how it's going to last during the day so it's 11 o'clock and i'm going to wear this foundation the whole day and uh, i think it looks good right now i do like it i love the shade i love how it feels i'm going to go further with my day and see you in a couple of hours so guys, I'm doing my check-in. It's almost five of five o'clock, and I'll be having this foundation, I think, for for a couple of hours. I can't remember how many hours. It looks very, very nice. I can't even feel it on my skin, though I do like uh, the side with the primer a little bit more because my I'm less oily. I'm a little bit shiny on this side without the primer, but I'm less shiny on this side with the with the primer, and the makeup looks more flawless on this side it starts to fade here on the nose a little bit and a little bit down here and a little bit around the nose down here it starts to fade away because i do not have a primer so i do believe in primers and it looks more smooth my my uh, pores are less visible with the on this side with the primer but so far so good i'm really liking this foundation God, I like it more than I thought that I would. I'm very surprised. It doesn't feel on my skin. I doesn't. I don't even feel that I have the foundation on, on my skin. I'm sorry, my throat is itching. But guys, yeah, I will do another check in a couple of hours to wrap up this video. So see you soon. Hi everyone, I'm back. It's nine o'clock, and I'll be having this foundation of our round for oh, how many hours? I think 10 hours since 11 o'clock I think and let me see how it looks I haven't touched up I, I did I did ate a hamburger for 10 minutes ago and my foundation is going a lot around my mouth but I have been touching my face a lot too and let's see how it looks so I'm uh, I don't feel shiny like I use <coughs> excuse me like I do usually uh, this side without the primer is just a little bit more shiny than this side without the primer and I'll be t touching my face a lot because I've been uh, editing a couple of the couple of videos today and uh, let me compare this these two sides here when I don't where I don't have a primer 
uh, foundation did start to fade here and it does look cakey on the nose. The foundation is gone here, but I did hold my hand like this so the foundation is removed. And here on the chin too. And here, yeah, on the nose doesn't look good at all. This, the pores look visible. But the rest of the makeup is still there, it doesn't look that bad. So the side with the primer, the bronzer and the contour and the blush is more visible on this side. And the nose, it just did remove here because I've been itching it around there. But I did hold my hand like this today also on this side and the foundation is still there. Uh, I did, yeah. I did touch this one, some of the foundation is gone on this pimple, but the rest of uh, the rest of the face, this side looks pretty good. The nose looks good, chin looks good on this side, everything looks good. So I do prefer the side with the primer. So I'm definitely going to use the primer with this foundation. And I do have to say, this is a very, very good foundation. The concealer. It didn't crease look it looks flawless uh, it didn't crease it didn't move that's amazing I love that concealer and this foundation is good I do really like it I'm definitely going going to continue using it for a couple of weeks ago I did review the Isadora foundation I've been using it every day since then that video and I love this foundation I have to say I love this one too I love this one too. It looks pretty, pretty good. I did apply a lot of it and it blended very nice. It did, it did, it did stay on my face for the whole day and I'm uh, impressed. I really, really like, like this foundation and the color is good. I like it. So this is Didi Approve. I love this foundation. Definitely going to continue using it. So I have to say the revolution Always surprise me with foundation. I think I love all of their foundations. I do like the stick foundation and I do like this foundation too, the full coverage. I'm not really using the concealer though, this kind of concealer, because it does kind of oxidize on my skin and uh, it looks really, really strange when I set it with powder, but I'm, I'm going to continue try try out that concealer. But this concealer, is the best concealer. If you haven't tried it, please do that because you're not going to re regret it. It's cruelty free. If you really look for a very good full coverage, cruelty free, affordable concealer, this is the one. Try it. This is the one. So guys, I love this foundation. Definitely going to use it. I'm going to use it tomorrow when I go to work because I love how this looks and I do need to work long hours tomorrow. So I'm definitely going to use this foundation. And yeah, guys, that was everything. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Please let me know down below if you try this foundation and what do you think about it. I love it and I hope you'll try it too because it's not expensive, it's very affordable and it's a very good full coverage foundation. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!